Welcome to Inside the Line with Marco D'Angelo. This is your report for Saturday, November 21st. Don't forget, I'll be back here sometime Saturday night with a, another free Inside the Line report for Sunday when we'll take a look at the NFL action for you. I've got two games for you on the Saturday card, and we're going to get things started with our first free selection. We're going to take a look at the Georgia-Kentucky game as Kentucky travels into Georgia. Now, last week, both teams became bowl eligible. They're both sitting at six and four. So this week's game, not as important as it was last week. And I feel that Kentucky playing their second week in a row on the road and accomplishing their bowl eligibility last week will not be as hungry this week against this Georgia Bulldog team. Georgia had high expectations coming into the season. They hit a bump in the road in the midseason, but now it seems they'll put things back together. I feel Georgia, last home game, will have a good effort on Saturday, and I believe they will be able to run the ball on this Kentucky defense. Kentucky's defense has been vulnerable to the run this year, as in several instances they gave up a ton of yardage. In fact, three weeks ago against Mississippi State, they gave up 348 yards on the ground. They gave up 220 yards on the ground to Auburn and 204 yards to Alabama. And of course, Florida earlier in the season ran right over them with 362 yards on the ground. Look for Georgia to be able to control the ball on Saturday with their offense and the Georgia defense did step up last week and make the plays in the second half and I look for that to carry over this week I actually have Georgia winning this game 31 to 17 that's going to be our first free pick this week take Georgia over Kentucky now before we get to our second free pick today I want to tell you what's going on with me on Saturday I've got a big card for you on Saturday. I'm going to have not one, but two triple dime plays on the Saturday card. We will have a big massacre game highlighting the card, and you can pick up the entire card on Saturday for $35. Join me on Saturday as we get a big Saturday full of winners. We started the week off in football with one play on Thursday night. We cashed an easy winner with Miami. I passed on Friday, and we're ready to do some more damage on Saturday. So be sure to join me Saturday for our football selections. Now, moving to our second free selection, we're going to take a look at a game. It's Kent State at Temple on Saturday. Now, this is a game on Saturday that when you handicap college football, not only are you handicapping strengths and weaknesses, but you got to look at situations. And we've got a situation with this Temple team that they are in absolutely uncharted water. This team is 8-2 and two heading into Saturday's action. They're bowl eligible. Their goal is to win the MAC conference and get the automatic bowl berth. This team last week had a rare television appearance on ESPN. They played last Friday night. And they absolutely destroyed Akron, 56-17. Now that was a great spot for Temple to catch Akron as Akron was coming off their uh, rivalry game against in-state rival Kent State the week before. Akron and Kent State, the two schools are like 20 minutes apart. It's a huge rivalry for them in college football. And they pulled the upset over Kent. They were flat for the Temple game. Temple come in there and rolled right over them. The game got ugly in the second half as Temple just continued to score. That big win on TV has got this line on Saturday inflated. The line is too high on Saturday with Temple. I do feel Temple will win this game, but I don't feel they can cover the double digits on Saturday. I look for Temple to get the win, but only by three or four points on Saturday. So I am going to take the live underdog with Kent State. And note that Kent State has had two weeks to prepare for this game. 
Uh, they were off last week off of their rivalry game, a loss. Look for them to come out with fire in their eyes. And they've got an offense that can score points. And I look for them to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Temple. Temple is a one-dimensional team. They do not have any passing game at all. They rely solely on the running back, Pierce. And he is a phenomenal running back. But laying double digits with a team off one of their biggest wins of the season on TV when they're never on TV. This is just too much to ask of this team. I look for them to come up flat on Saturday, take Kent State plus the points. Those are your two inside the line games for this week. I hope you're able to join me on Saturday. Big car to college football, including not one, but two triple dime plays on the Saturday card. Hope you're there to join me. Either way, best of luck to you on Saturday. I will be back here Saturday night with our Inside the Line report for Sunday. Have a great day and enjoy the games on Saturday.